Hello everybody, a hearty welcome to 5 Mantra viewers. In this video, I am going to introduce what is GATE and what is the pattern of GATE electrons and communications background and the different subjects involved in the EC GATE sub syllabus. Apart from that, I will give a small introduction about the electromagnetics topic. Now, before going to the introduction part, let me thank Phi Mantra for giving me this opportunity to explain about gauge electromagnetics in EC field. Now, let me go to the introductory slide where we have got the list of subjects which are involved in the electronics and communications gate examination. Now, before going to the subjects involved, let me explain you the basic structure of a gate examination. Gate is comprising of 100 marks and each branch has got a common bits for mathematics ranging from 13 to 15 marks. So, it is not fixed. So, every year it may be varying between 13 marks to 15 marks allocation for mathematics. After that, we have got different subjects in the specified stream. For example, if you take electrons and communications, we have got the remaining seven subjects, seven fields like networks, signals and systems, electronic devices, analog circuits, digital circuits, control systems, next uh, communications and electromagnetics. So, each subject in your basic engineering four year course has got its own weightage. Now, uh, coming to the electrons and communications, these are the important subjects in the gate examination. So, now let me uh, show the weightage of different subjects in electronics as per uh, the 2019, 18 and 17 years. Now, coming coming to the engineering mathematics, so it has, it, uh, till now it is maintained a common weightage of around 15 marks, okay. And uh, coming to the networks and signals and systems topic, they have given 14 marks in 2019, uh, 16 marks in 2018 and around 17 in set 5, set 1 and uh, th 13 in set 2. So, uh, if you take the subject of signals and systems and networks, the general weightage is in between 13 to 16. Coming to the next subject, electronic devices. Now, coming to electronic devices, we have got equally around almost 14 marks of weightage in all the three years. And of course, in set 2, we have got 12 marks of weightage in 2017 year. Coming to the next subject, analog circuits. Analog circuits has got a weightage ranging between 12 to 8. So, if you take the 2019 year gate examination, it has got a maximum weightage around 12 marks and, and in 2018, you have got a weightage of around 10 marks and in 2017, it has got a weightage of around 8 to 9 marks. Coming to the next subject, digital circuits, we have got 8 marks of weightage in 2019. Next, in 2018, digital circuits has been given a heavy weightage of around 12 marks and coming to 2017 year, the weightage in one of the sets was 11 and in the second set it was 9. Coming to the next subject which is control systems, we have got a weightage of around 11 marks on the total marking in 2019 for allocated for control systems was around 11. Coming to 2018, the total number of marks allocated for control systems was around 10 marks and coming to the 2017, in one of the sets it has got 12 marks of weightage and in the, in the second set it has got 8 marks of weightage. Coming to the subject communications, it, it, the, the weightage ranges between 12 marks to 11 marks, I mean 10 marks actually. Okay, so if you take the year 2019, the weightage is 12 marks, in the year 2018 its weightage was 10 marks and in the year 2017 its weightage was uh, between 11 and 12. So, in one of the sets, we have got 12 marks weightage in 2017 and in the second set, it has been given a weightage of 11 marks. Now, coming to the electromagnetic subjects which I am going to deal in the future, we have got a uh, weightage of 14 marks which is considered to be a very good amount in, uh, in 2019 and in 2018, the total weightage given to electromagnetics is around 13 marks and similarly in 2017 its weightage in one of the sets was 11 and in other set, other set its weightage was 10 marks. Now coming to the next uh, uh, subjects on weightage if you observe, uh, actually this is very much useful data as far as uh, the, the subject selection is concerned because gate, ex gate examination is uh, all about choosing your subjects. Now uh, in whichever subject you are very much confident. Then, then you need to focus more on that particular subject. So, coming to that, 
priority the first and foremost priority is given to electronic devices now why electronic devices is considered as the most uh, prioritized subject is it is comprising of all the basics so if you uh, take out take from diodes to transistors to let me say ICs all the topics are basics are convert uh, they are been tested in electronic devices so that means the um, forming uh, forming concepts in your electronics and communications will be in both these two subjects and uh, the networks and signals and systems concepts. So, these two subjects have got a highest weightage because these two are com comprising of the basics. Now, coming to the electromagnetic subjects, I, I consider uh, based on my survey for the past two, three to four years, and uh, the, the third subject of weightage is, is the electromagnetic subject. So, in electromagnetics, we have got different topics like uh, uh, we, uh, straight from Gauss's law, after that uh, Maxwell's equations, the uniform plane waves, the wave impedances in different media and reflection refraction in different media, transmission line, transmission lines and uh, in transmission lines also there are so many top subtopics like uh, transmission line equations, the input impedance concept, the Smith chart, uh, the, the single stub matching, double stub matching, quarter wave transformer. So, these are some of the important topics which we are going to cover in the concepts of uh, in the subject of electromagnetics and apart from that uh, we can also uh, have some topics on antennas also. So, apart from electromagnetics, the other uh, prioritized subjects are control systems. Control systems uh, is uh, having a basic uh, weightage of around 10 to 12 marks. So, if you come, if you take the subject of electromagnetics, we can expect around 12 marks, I mean based on the IITs which are going to give the question paper. So, for example, if I am, if, if, if the paper, paper giving IIT is IIT Kharagpur or IIT Kanpur, they will be generally focusing on more of electromagnetics. So, whenever you have the IIT Karakpur or Kanpur giving the paper, you should consider it more on electromagnetics. That means, I am talking about the general tendency which has happened in the past years. So, generally when these two IITs are going to set the paper, they will much concentrate on the concept of electromagnetics. Coming to control systems, it has got a priority or weightage of around 8 to 9 marks and so, that is considered as the fourth priority. And coming to the fifth priority, digital uh, circuits. So, like if you take the multiplexers, decoders, coders, encoders, uh, all the combinational circuits and sequential circuits, they will be studied under the concept of digital circuits. So, that will be given around a weightage of around 8 to 9 marks. And I am going to consider that uh, as the fifth priority. Coming to the communications, uh, if you go for the communications uh, AM, that is amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, the frequency shift keying techniques, or I mean shift keying techniques like uh, MSK, QSK, PSK, uh, ASK, all these techniques and, and uh, encoding, decoding of uh, uh, cyclic codes, convolution codes, etc., those should be kind of studied under the concept of convolution. And lastly, we have got analog circuits. So, in the, the last preference should be given to the concept of analog circuits. So, this is a a, a small introduction about uh, what is gate and uh, how a, the how the subjects variation and weightage of electronics and communications has been given okay and coming to the concept of why should we study gate is uh, we uh, there are some advantages of uh, studying the gate I mean appearing for the gate examination and clearing it now what are the different uh, up different uh, advantages I let me list out some of them so first and foremostly gate examination is useful for uh, the for getting the seats in M Tech and of course in PhD, C, PhD uh, degrees. So, any NITs or IITs they will see the valid gate score and if your gate score is more maybe let me say more than 95 or 96 percentile you are having a huge amount of chances of getting into one of the either NITs or IITs. So, coming to uh, another uh, another advantage of uh, gate, writing the gate examination says uh, these days many uh, PSUs that is the public se sector undertaking uh, companies they are taking gate as a standard for selecting the candidates. So, for that reason uh, if you take uh, Navaratna companies like BHL or uh, uh, ISRO communication related companies. So, uh, like uh, BEL, Bharat Electronics Limited or uh, HA, that is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and all. So, these are some of the companies, prime companies which are uh, imbibing, we are, which are which are taking the candidates based on uh, based on the gate score, valid gate score. So, uh, coming to other uh, advantages, thus 
these the preparation for this gate examination is useful for some other competitive examinations like rrb or ies so indian engineering services is another premier examination for which this preparation for gate is very much useful and you can uh, you can get a good uh, good score in indian engineering services examination also and apart from that uh, some teaching jobs uh, are also i mean some premier universities like uh, so some of them to say are uh, let me say jntu university in hyderabad or anna university in uh, chennai or uh, let me say jadavpur university in kolkata or west bengal so these are some of the institutions which are asking for a valid gate score for selecting their candidates for their teaching also so the preparation for gate examination is not at all useless so don't be under the impression that uh, uh, gaining knowledge for gate examination is useless so please be under the please uh, don't be under such an impression so prepare well and uh, try to avoid negative marking why because uh, why am i telling you about negative marking is uh, in gate examination for every wrong answer we have been given a negative marking of 1 by 4 so for that reason uh, we we need to be very meticulous in uh, in answering each and every question so if you know the perfect answer then only go for that particular question otherwise you can leave away uh, emptily so uh, so you need to be very thorough in marking the options also so and ap apart from that uh, uh, you always try to focus on your areas of interest as i told you already so for example if given a given a chance i'll go for the first three which are uh, first three cases which are around uh, given a, a weightage of around 40 marks or 45 marks also sometimes the preference of subjects as i already told you because it is having around a weightage of 15 marks and networks also has got around a rough weightage of 15 marks and electromagnetics will be in general having a weightage of 12 marks so if you are good at these three subjects so generally you can score easily 40 marks okay and uh, these four might uh, in total it might be not more than 40 marks okay so these three subjects are only 42 marks and the remaining uh, four subjects put together also will be around 40 marks only so but instead of studying four subjects if i go for these three subjects which are very primary and uh, basics we can offer good score using these three subjects itself okay so with this i am concluding the video uh, if you find this video to be uh, informative please log on to our five mantra channel in youtube and please subscribe our do subscribe our channel and uh, if you like this videos give a like or a share for this video thank you one and all